I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse, the politics of the Grove. I was forgetting who I was. But you lifted the fog. Thank you. You're too modest. I wager you don't even know how extraordinary you truly are. But I do. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. I want more than to fight at your side, or sit around the campfire with you. I want to lay with you under the stars and feel your skin against mine. I think you feel the same way. Why else would you have been so concerned about whether I had a lover before? But tell me I'm wrong, and the matter can rest. I do not wish to sour our friendship, but I have to know if it can be something more. You have bonded with Shadowheart, body and soul. Her scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with her consent. And perhaps someday, her participation. Some treat their relationships like a walled garden, tidy, tamed, cut off from the world. That is their right, but it is not for me. I do as nature does, and let my heart run wild. Desire flourishes wherever it finds purchase. Take your time. I'll be waiting. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? You're talking about Halcyn, aren't you? I don't blame you. It'd take a cold heart and cobwebbed loins to ignore him. But what exactly did you have in mind? Hold of you to ask. Some might take the suggestion very badly. Luckily for you, I don't count among their number. If you have a chance to climb Mount Halsen, well, I'd be cruel to deny you. I'll be waiting to hear the details afterwards. Of course, in the spirit of open-mindedness, I want to hear it all. Was there anything else? Besides your increasingly complex love life? Did you find time to speak with your partner? A potentially delicate topic, I understand. Indeed. <laughs> I had feared a life in service of Shah might have narrowed her mind. But I'm glad to be proven wrong. There is more to her than even she knows, I feel. Now we will have each other, but not just each other. Our hearts are free to roam, together or apart, as nature designed. The feeling is more than mutual. Seek your bedroll when you are ready, but do not expect much sleep. You came. I was concerned you might have had doubts, or that this might have all been too soon. Perhaps a little. 
Do you know how hard it's been for me to contain myself? I'm almost frightened to touch you. If I give in, I may not be able to stop until I've devoured you. <laughs> As I do you. But nevertheless, I will be gentle. Or at least, I will try. Just as nature intended. Come here to me. Forgive me, I uh, lost the run of myself. Um, sometimes, if blood runs hot enough, it's difficult to tame the beast. Oh. You like it? Are you certain? It will be untamed, vigorous, and, well, large. Nature has been most kind to let me share in your heart. What do you need? That was something I had dreamed about for some time. <laughs> and now I realize just how woefully meager my dreams were compared to the reality. I would still be there with you now. If the sun hadn't intruded on us and the city hadn't stirred for the day. say that. Perfect would mean there is nothing left to explore, and I see plenty to lose myself in. You truly are a feast for my eyes. Nature outdid itself with you. Did you wish to speak? Relationship. <laughs> Such terms belong to civilization, a little unfamiliar to my lips. You know what we share is more fluid, more founded in the principles of nature. Indeed, I am but one of your lovers. You and I should each seek happiness wherever it lies. You are all I want, but I will not hold you to myself. Let others know the happiness of being with you. I was hoping you would ask. Was there something else you wanted, my heart? <laughs> 